And in fact, there's a story about the dragon that there was in fact a carp, which is a fish that swam the, the hundreds and the hundreds of kilometers upstream, up the length of the Yellow River, until it reached a very turbulent area known as the Dragon Gate. And so after tremendous effort, the carp was able to jump over the Dragon Gate. And this is such an impressive feat that the immortals in heaven who were watching decided to reward this carp by turning it into a dragon. And so in Chinese the expression uh, Yue Longmen or Ya Longmen means to jump the dragon gate. And it can mean after years of hard work and effort. Originally in Chinese history, it actually meant those very rare people who were able to pass the imperial entrance exam and attain an official position. Now, it essentially means to finally attain success after much hard work. So the dragon represents this transformation and attainment through hard work. And although in Tai Chi and Taoism we want to be relaxed, in this case, it's not quite go with the flow. It's actually upstream, up the Yellow River against the flow. Of course, relaxed and smiling the whole time. In Tai Chi, we also talk about the five animals. And the first animal is the dragon. The second is the tiger. The third is the snake. The fourth is the leopard. And the fifth is the crane. And they all represent different qualities of movement. Ideally, when we practice our Tai Chi, we want to achieve all those types of movement. And what the dragon represents is the expansion and contraction of the spine. We often talk about uh, Tai Chi the Taoist Tai Chi internal arts of health as being an internal exercise. And what does that mean exactly? You can see it's meditative, it's slow and relaxing. And there's greater and greater recognition now of how important relaxation, meditation, focus, a light and happy outlook can affect our health can affect our immune system, can affect our ability to heal, and our ability to stay young as the years go by. But if you look more closely, you will see that the demonstrators are gently but fully moving all parts of the body. So this is an excellent way to maintain good range of motion in your hips. We all know how important it is to keep the hips healthy as we get older. And if you also look closely, you'll see the expansion and contraction of the spine, the dragon. If you can get that expansion and contraction, we can maintain better health of the spine. We're less likely to lose those inches of height as we get older. Maintain good posture. And if you think about it, everything in your body is attached to your spine. If you can gently stretch and strengthen the spine, not in an artificial way, but in a natural way, it will develop more and more flexibility as years go by. So we actually have many stories of members who have been helped with sometimes very severe health problems through simply their daily, very dedicated and hard work 
practice of, uh, of the Taoist Tai Chi internal arms of health. You can see we have young and old here. We also actually teach, um, in addition to our own centers, we teach in hospitals, seniors' homes, and many, many groups who uh, work to improve the health of people with particular health challenges. And spouts have been very effective for people who've had strokes, uh, brain injuries, people with multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, arthritis, any condition that can be helped by better mobility, better strength, and more relaxation can be improved through the practice of Dallas Apache. This movement is called Separation of Wild Horses Name. It's a very symbolic and interesting name. The wild horse, if you think of yourself riding on the back of a horse, with the mane of the horse getting in your eyes and, and blocking you and keeping you from knowing where you're going. The wild horse can represent anger and strong emotions that pull us one way and then the other way and keeping us from maintaining our composure. But if we can part that mane, then we can see where we're going. We can be quiet and calm, be more effective, be better participants in the community and be healthier people. This movement is called Fair AD Works at Shuttle. Now, as I mentioned before, the International Taoist Tai Chi Society has branches in 26 countries around the world. So we're, we're so happy to be able to demonstrate this for you at a time when the world is gathering in, in Vancouver and in Richmond. We also believe that participating in an organization where you have the opportunity to work together with others on a volunteer basis, where all work is done really out of the desire to help improve the health of the community. It's a chance for people to learn that volunteering and engaging in the world and engaging in the health of other people is also a part of health. I think something else that medical science is starting to learn more and more now is that when we can have an active community life and connect with other people, get to know other people and be aware of how others are doing, we can also work on our own health. So when the demonstrators work together, you see how much better they are now, now that they're warmed up and working? The mind is quiet. They can see what's happening around them. They can enjoy showing you this art that they all love. White stork spreads with it. Needle at sea bottom. The sea bottom is actually where the dragon cake lives. 